So I wanted to go over what it means to put grub screws in a lock. You might have heard this before. And one of the reasons you want to do it is because you might be new to, um, to gutting a lock and you could make mistakes and it could break the lock. And if it's grubbed, you can recover every time. There's certain locks out there for sale, like the Sparrow's Revolver that's already grubbed for you, but it has other shortcomings uh, apart from the price. Here, I just took a, a simple Schlage lock and this one in particular is really nice because it has this bar across the top. You could take that, you could take all your springs and, and pins out the top and then put that in every time. But what I've done is I'm going to take this out and I bought a simple uh, drill and tap set here. Uh, it's M4 size and I bought some, whoa, I spilled them everywhere. I bought some grub screws here and these are just screws that have a hex hole in them so you can screw them in um, and what we're going to do is we're going to tap this lock it's really easy you get your m4 bit came in here with a, a drill so let's say you didn't already have these holes in here because of this you take this drill bit and you just drill your your holes in there and then you can use this tap that also came in there um, i have a handle for it but you can use uh, any any handle that can grip on there and all you want to do is push really push down really hard and give this a few turns now you you could use oil with this um, to make it run smoother and keep the heat down and different things like that but we're only doing about like two and a half or three full turns of the tool so I don't find it's really needed and then what I kind of do is wiggle it to when I'm taking it out to clear off any of those little flakes or whatever they're called and then we already have our first one and you can just screw that in there now you might want to do this with uh, everything removed so in this particular one what we're going to do is push down on this pin here and it allows us to unscrew this cap and then once that's gone we can take out the plug and that way you, know, you can remove any pins or springs and not worry about damaging them while you're tapping it etc so I'll go ahead and clean up this big mess I've made and tap the rest of these and I'll be back and we'll see how it turns out all right I'm back this only took a couple minutes I have left the grub screws a bit high only about two and a half turns each you could probably put them down quite a bit lower uh, but you know it works fine here I have a lock with a key you don't need a key when you do this because you can take all the pins out if you can't figure out how to pick it and so keys not necessary you can mess with all different types of bidding uh, all different types of uh, security pins and things like that so it's really good for switching out individual chambers uh, but another reason why a grub screwed lock is really good is that if you're new to it you don't want to and you don't want your, to be constantly gutting it or you're not comfortable with gutting it you can definitely use this way to learn how to gut now normally you would go in with your follower and let's say I was going to um, deal with this one and I only have the first two pinned up because I'm learning to progressive pick and I put my key in and I don't use a shim even though I've been told a hundred times to always use a shim and I go to gut it and so I have it turned right everything's good I start to push it and while I'm pushing it for some reason my key gets turned like this right and boom oh I've bricked my lock I can feel the springs are caught inside of some of my uh, plug chambers uh, the drivers have dropped in and now the springs are there and I could rip it out but I'd mangle springs and maybe you don't have spares or whatever it is so because it is progressively pinned we don't have a problem we know that we have springs in the first two chambers so all we're gonna do is take off those first two chambers so here's the first one take that off and that gives us access to our spring and our driver pin as well I don't I really care about the driver pin right now so I'm just gonna leave it and then the second chamber gives us access to our spring and our drivers in there but you can see that we can already pull this out and there are two drivers they dropped in four and five and so I recovered from this and I can go ahead and try again try my gutting again try building it whatever I want to do and this time remember a shim perhaps so that's just a really quick overview on how to apply grub screws. I'll try to include a link I, to these M4 um, drill bit and tap and see if I can find a link for some of these M4 
grub screws. The hardest part is going to be um, getting yourself a lock that you can uh, put grub screws into. But if you can find an old junky one, that's all you need. And you can save yourself a bunch of money um, from having to buy some of these online ones that have been grub screwed or um, have other issues with them. The one I think of is the Sparrow's revolver used to be good, but they started to chamfer all the holes, which made it tri kind of trivial to pick and not really feel like a real lock. So um, this gives you a very cheap alternative. This was only a few dollars. So hopefully that helps some people. Thanks, everyone. Bye.